Hello, this is Adam Humphreys, and I uh, thought I'd finally do an update on our system. We were able to get our wind generators back up, and we also decided to use the Raptor blades for our previous Air X's <coughs> on a strange little arrangement. <laughs> but there they are, and it seem, that seems to be working all right. It's been up there for about a month or so now. But that's our arrangement, and as you can see, we're awaiting new panels here, 125 watt panels, um, two of them on each one, but they're still going to be all wired in series. Alright, so let's take a look at the insides here. The kilowatt hour logger that I had developed previously for the wind generators. <coughs> and here it is. <coughs> now let's focus this properly. Oh, it's showing the current day right now. And as you can see we haven't been making a whole lot as of recently. But there are two issues with this thing. One, the current it reads in the higher end seems to read about two amps higher than what the, the, the charge controller here does at the moment. I really don't know which is more accurate. I, uh, I can't get something to have I can't get something to ha push that much current into the system to actually measure it, so I can't tweak things. But here it is right now in real time. And there's the watts it's making, so we can see how that compares. Like zero now, one eight. Uh, what negative one? Oh, what is going on here? I don't know. But I know the wind's blowing. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Huh. <coughs> I'll have to look at that later. Huh. But on the low end, it actually doesn't perform too well. It'll actually um, won't re read anything like 500 milliamps. When this one reads 500 milliamps, it won't read anything here. So that's the drawback. That's the only drawback that I know of. But other than that, though, you know, that, that's the only drawback other than it reading high on the higher end. It'll read two amps higher. And the timing is off. If you don't... I didn't use a crystal, so that's my fault. Hmm. Timing is off because... Let's see, I plugged it in, turned it on at uh, midnight. Maybe about midnight or so, or 12.30. <coughs> and now, a month or so, or about two months later, it uh, resets the watt hours at about 5 o'clock. So that's pretty bad timing in my opinion, but... It's a lot better than what we had since we had nothing, and this is uh, after the tornado here. Nothing at all. And I don't know where that came from. <coughs> but eventually we can get back. There we go. There's the day the tornado hit. Now that's probably not pretty accurate. That's probably not accurate there. Since this seem seemed to read a lot higher than before after I tweaked it a little bit. So, probably not quite accurate there. There's the previous days beforehand. Probably not accurate, but uh, that's uh, that's it. So it's been about 70 days since I've had this thing installed. So there's its status. And I really think that's about it. Our solar. We've been doing pretty good on the solar. We're making about 560, 70 watts right now. And 3.2 kilowatt hours. So, yeah. Ooh, 620 watts. Yay! It was tracking. Okay. Excellent. So that's it for that. That's the update. Uh, so thank you for.